Hello, welcome to a tutorial. For this one, I'm going to show you, this is actually a specifically a movie duels one. This does not apply for Jedi Academy. So, you know, you have to have the mod to do that. Anyway, this is a tutorial on how to modify NPC scripts, their sort of health, they're all, the, everything about them using the new system that was up, that was put in the update on July 4th. So, let's begin. First, you just, you need to spawn an NPC. Any NPC can work, although it is part very of dangerous. If uh, if you don't have a crosshair like I like doing, uh, it's going to be a little harder. But you just basically have to put yourself next to them. All right, you have to also look at them. So basically, in order to do anything with NPC, you have to have your crosshair on them and go to NPC commands. You can have your NPC freeze, specifically that one. Um, there is a command where you can freeze all NPCs, but this is if you only want to freeze one. Uh, you can tell it to follow. If you do that, they will follow really closely. Uh, you can see here... You have lost. That. Oh, did I... Hold on. Yeah, if you tell... the NPC to follow you, you can either... If you click it again, it will tell it not to follow you. Also, if you... Like, as opposed to previous editions where telling them to follow close only made them follow you to a certain distance, this uses the Jedi Academy way of following where they're literally just going to always find a way to path towards you. Anyway, another good command is to change its team. If you change it to solo, it'll attack everyone as it says. I'm not going to change it right now because I want to stay him on my heat team, but you know. Undying means that they can take damage but can't be killed, as I said. It's literally undead mode for, you know. It's undead mode, but for this, I can give him 5,000 health, armor, I can kill him if I so desired. And now this is the fun part. This is the stuff where you can change your NPCs in a lot of ways so that, you know, if, you ever, if you're doing videos like me, you can give them more character than just, you know, character, than just doing whatever it is they do. Like, on pain, Drop to knee, like, on pain, they'll, like, do one of these things, like, I wonder, I'm gonna quick save, and I'm gonna turn myself to the dark side, so on pain, he should literally just, he should lose his head, okay, there we go, yeah, um, ain't that interesting, anyway, uh, if I go into team, I could set him to dark side, and that would make him on my side now, without a head. Uh, I, I actually wasn't certain if his head would come off, like, immediately. On wounded, you can tell him to do things like taunt, or be just animation to dead. On death, it will... Here's a good one. Uh, if you want his, a character in a... In a one of your little machinimas to be like not dead, but like, you know, just close to that. Uh, first off, let's say his health to one and his armor to zero. Uh, go to the light side and just hit him once. And now, see, he's got no head, but he's not dead. You can do all sorts of things with that. We don't really have to function with an NPC, but other things include. These are all the scripts, so like on Victory, you can tell him to, like, to talk at the, like, to do the, you know, lip flapping. You can do it that they chase after the enemy, or not. You can do it that they dismember their leg when they win. There's a bunch of these. You can even tell them to just do an action regardless. Like, talk to a comm link, or use a console, force lightning, etc, 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 etc. You can give them force powers, which you just have to do what I did before, look at them or have the crosshair on them. You can actually click it and you can put what level you want. It's really useful, especially if you don't want them to have drain, because I found that NPCs that have level three drain will use that more than lightning and it's kind of dumb looking. You can give them lightsaber gunner, which by the way, in order for lightsaber gunner to work, they have to be you can't, if, if they have a blaster, but you want to give them a lightsaber, choose lightsaber gunner. I'm not sure the specifics, but that's what works. I mean, you can give yourself all these different weapons. You can press NPC freeze. 
You can also bind it in the uh, no NPC in the top right. If I go into this and I cower, it'll say in the top left, no NPC in crosshair. Also, uh, yeah, he's he's cowering because the last that is weird looking. He's like a Half-Life zombie. Anyway, regardless, that is all there is to it. If you like this video, be sure to give it a like, put a comment for any suggestions, and tell me if it helped you, because I love hearing comments about that sort of thing. Anyway, I'll see you around, and have a nice day. Later. You've got to be kidding.